Thank you for watching another video by Impound Comics. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brent Trey Sands, the writer and the creator of the Impound Universe, and we're back for another episode of the Impound Podcast with my co-host, Kyron Shank. Yeah, what it do, Ski? What's happening, folks? It's been a cool little minute. It's been a cool little minute. It's been a cool minute. See, what yeah. happened was we had more episodes, and for whatever reason, the audio didn't record, so all we had was video. Nah, that he's, guy! He's, that guy! He's who hits the audio first. <laughs> wow. I get the camera ready, and I say, hit the audio. Here's the thing. I didn't we ask him to audio. hit the audio today. We hit the uh, Oh, shit. It's, okay, okay. I, I did it. <laughs> so, look. So, look. So, look. He be doing all the electronic stuff. But at the same time, yo, we had that, that episode was bomb as hell. Yeah. The episode was bomb as hell. But we just didn't have the audio. It was his fault. Blame <laughs> him. It's always his fault. I just I just be here. I'll be here. I, I serve y'all with the with the energy and the content. And sometimes I hit the button. Maybe I forget the button, but he forgot the button. Boom. Case closed. There it That's is. That's why I just took full responsibility today. <laughs> so if it goes wrong, it is me. Let me triple check. Uh, I think we all right. It's this recording. Guy, this guy. So it's all right when I take control. You know what all I mean? Right, all right. All right. All right. What's happening? Nothing much, man. We had our first party. Woo! -hoo! We had adrenaline. If y'all do not remember, we we talked about our first ever anime cosplay party here in LA, Adrenaline. And when I say, you know, well, let me ask you this: How do you how'd you feel about the party before we go crazy on it? How'd you feel about it? You know, it was dope. You know, the energy was there. Uh, I mean, anytime you throw an event for the first time, yeah, just being full at all is Thanks. a blessing. You Thanks. know what I mean? Thanks. So. People were posting on Party Full 10 out of 10, like the comments. Yeah, like you could see, I've seen it. You can see people doing like their reviews of it, and it was 100% positive reviews. Nice. I'm always a hard critic on myself, so nice. I like to wait to see what the public says, but I did not see one complaint. I was a nervous wreck. I'm yeah, like, me oh, too. I, I was a nervous. Wreck. It might not say. It, it might not look like it, y'all. It might not look like, but I was a nervous. Wreck. He was. This motherfucker was no, walking I, back and forth yeah. on some like. <laughs> I'm never at peace when throwing an event. But yeah. you want to know what was the final confirmation that the event was great? What up? We're now throwing another one on Halloween night. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> not just ha y'all Halloween night. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Tell them how important this. I don't think y'all understand this. This our second party. Second, y'all tell them how important this is. When you Ooh. when you throw events or parties uh, at a club, most clubs will take on Halloween or New Year's Eve on their own. Mm -hmm. If they want a promoter to take over, that means they really like what you do. Thanks. So for our first party, for them to give us Halloween night, which I wasn't expecting. Wasn't at all. I was like, get us as close to Halloween as you can. They said, how about Halloween night? I said, oh, we'll take that. It's up. Bro, when you called me, when he called me, y'all, I'm like, bro, okay, he's joking with me. I'm like, yo, this is a sick joke. Because I'm thinking we're going to get like 24th. Yeah. Maybe even you know, 25th, even, you know, a week before, whatever the case. But it was like, yo, like Halloween night. Thank you all who came. Thank you all who showed up and showed out. Everyone showed up in theme. Even some people didn't, you know, but they, they still had a great, grand time. Uh, shout out to our DJs as well, JL. And shout out to the host, man. Yeah. Ah! He did his thing. He did his thing on <laughs> the mic. Thank you, man. Thank Let you. me tell y'all, I've seen a lot of hosts up and down the coast. Yeah. Bars. <laughs> Thought of that on the spot. <laughs> he the best host right now. Man. And I'm not just saying that because we're partners on the event. He actually makes people have fun yeah. from the moment of it that, that they start to the end. Thanks. He may he brings an experience yeah. that's really special because a lot of hosts get on your nerves. <laughs> he didn't get on my nerves. <laughs> I sometimes get on the nerve, but that night I, I, uh, I great, host, great host. Great host. <laughs> yeah, Good bro, job. Bro. I definitely you gotta give him his roses, man. Man, I, I definitely appreciate you, brother. Like it was, you know, that was the whole sole point of us even creating this party in the first place is giving an experience, giving yeah. a top rank experience to the point where it's like we got to come back. It's undeniable yeah. that people have to come back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Crystal, the DJ, too. You did your motherfucking thing. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, you know, he was right. If y'all see the comments, y'all know the party for app. Look it up. Look it up. From the past party situations, it was tens across the board. Halloween night. If y'all, if y'all, look. It's you missed it the first time. time. Yeah. <laughs> if you missed it the first time, you don't want to miss Halloween night. Woo! It's going to be epic. 
Like I, I, I just don't know no I don't know what what else to say. Like, you know, and from the bottom of my heart, we thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm definitely glad that I partnered up with you doing it. You feel me? This was, you know, crazy don't enough. Now, crazy don't oh, wow. <laughs> And you know what's crazy? No, <laughs> she was going to try to bend my hand. I was not going to bend your hand. <laughs> so, you know what's crazy? Like, a couple of my people have asked me and told me, like, yo, Shank, you need to throw a party, you need to throw a party. And it's like, ah. one, nervous as hell to do it. Two, it's just, you know, I, I just didn't want to do the same shit, you yeah. know? So I'm thankful that I'm doing it with you, especially because you care about not only the subject matter, but you care about the community too. Yeah. And you know, there's no one that I've met, you know, that has that same mentality and that same relentlessness, you yeah. feel me, as you. So of course I gotta give you your flowers too, my Appreciate brother. You. you feel me? Like, cause we gonna take this shit over. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to I had to I had to just say what I had to say. Yeah. <laughs> oh love. Well, let me get into this, man. man. Yeah. Let's talk about comics and things. That asked you a question. I started a new subject on TikTok. Yeah, uh, that was going is who's the most iconic villain? Mm. So now we're gonna ask out of two villains, mm. who's more iconic? Okay, you know what I mean. Or well, let's start with this: who would be the villain Mount Rushmore in comics? Oh my, in comics, mm -hmm. either either universe, right? Both, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'm going with Lex Luthor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going with. Mm. Brainiac. Brainiac? Yep. I'm going to go with Thanos. And then last but not least, Joker. Yeah. Okay. That's my Mount Rushmore. Okay. That's my Mount Rushmore. Everybody get their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's talking shit right now. This is what <laughs> he's doing, right? The, when when, when he that does bad. that, when he does that, he's... Okay. Okay. Brainiac okay. is like, okay. oh. man, why? Why? Brainiac is a world eater. He has that damn motherfucker hard to beat. Iconic though. Icon. Why isn't Brainiac iconic? He is iconic, but I, I don't like. You think Brainiac's more iconic than Doom or Magneto? Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> Good god! Good god! Good god! On a on a on a, I'll on, say a this. on a universal scale, Doom. Is definitely come on. That's all. That's Doom all I was gonna. Definitely. That's all I was gonna say. Even Magneto. Uh, mm. See me. I said I did mine. I did mine. Magneto's. A, uh, I'm. I'm tipping the scale with that because I said my. Uh, for me, I put the the villain Mount Rushmore. I put Lex. I put Joker. Okay. And then I put Doom and Magneto. That was mine. Now Thanos is 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 in there. It could be in there. I kind of thought my problem with Thanos. I just think it's a little more recent bias. Um, but I'm not mad at it. It's it makes sense. Um, he's definitely iconic. I just um, you know everybody everybody has their own list. The reason why, and then even even taking it out of the MCU, because you mean like even even when I read comics, Thanos Thanos thought process when it came to just world not, not even world domination. You know what I'm saying like planetary domination. Like in a in a sense, he was he was a he was a what's the word I am looking for. Not a not not necessarily a villain, but a a, a anti hero, anti hero, anti villain. Whatever the case uh, may be, he ain't no damn he, anti hero. You, you, anti you, villain. You, when it, when I say that, I say that I say that because I say that because if we if that bring, we, that's gonna bring me to another subject. Okay, but I say that because low key, low key. If you think about it, even with the whole MCU, I'm gonna just take the MCU standpoint because he was still you know at least somewhat comic book accurate, you know. Necessarily snapping and then literally clearing the board of half. If I wasn't, if I wasn't dusted, I, I don't know if I wouldn't be that bad because it's like, you know, we restarting. I mean, from a planetary situation, our earth is saved, you know. <laughs> Not only that, it's like, you know, resources aren't depleting, you are. world, world hunger is not there anymore. Okay, it's like, you know. That I mean, look, is it is it necessarily that bad that it killed half of the universe? And Loki saved us too. It's just it you know, it, it's just like you know, we can repopulate. Let me say it like this. Let me say it like this. Okay, help me out. You are a part of the problem. Of who's the <laughs> You're part of the problem. I'm part of the problem. <laughs> look, what's because I've been talking a lot about villains the last few weeks, and yeah. I'm noticing which has been irritating me because I'm having to pick these people apart. Oh Jesus! I can't stand this. 
I understand the villain. <laughs> so he's not the villain, because I understand. Listen, oh, no, he's still a villain. But you listen, know what I mean? He, 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 got a, he on the right track. No, he's not. <laughs> listen, if he could snap away yeah. half of the universe, he could have also snapped an unlimited amount of resources. Yeah. He could have snapped that the moment you pull an apple, an apple grows, and it, it's infinite. He could have snapped that water never runs out. He could have snapped extra planets or or double whatever. There were so many things he could have did to add. He didn't have to take away. That was, but in my gauntlet, mind, that but, was just his way gauntlet, of, of making making it make sense. In his brain. So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So the gauntlet is basically a freaking magic genie wish? I thought it literally just... Well, he could do whatever. He, no, he could do whatever he wanted. Whatever he thought. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever he, whatever, he whatever, he it, whatever, yes. he whatever he commanded and thought of. Whatever he willed it. Whatever he willed it. So okay. he could have snapped an unlimited amount of resources that they never run out. That's just his way of rationalizing his evil. In my mind, like that's his way of like, I'm doing this for y'all. No, it's not. You just want to kill. <laughs> you just want to kill. Yeah, <laughs> and you're and you're trying to make it sound like, but it's like he could have just made it that resources never ran out. That's facts. <laughs> That's the, that's the thing. It's like that's he facts. never had to do that because you know in the comics, he did in the comics he 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 snapped away half of the universe because he was trying to um, please Lady please, Death. Yeah, yeah. yeah so sure. that was a whole different oh, thing. Oh, for the I yeah, guess, I can't say that word. Yeah, that's oh, what it was. For the, mm, mm. But uh, nah, he he just he just wanted to kill. That was his way of rationalizing it. He he could have, like I said, hey. snapped an unlimited amount of resources. He could have. But however, how, he did it. How else we gonna learn? How else we? We don't learn? need to learn. How else we gonna learn? Just give us unlimited resources. <laughs> and then somebody was like, somebody I said that before, and somebody was like, well then that would just make people greedy. It's like, okay, that's, that's greedy. No, it's unlimited. If it's unlimited, it, yeah, it's it's unlimited. So it's if you unlimited. have it by the abundance, you're not you don't care. It's not a it's not um. A resource, and you're not gonna right, right, try to like, take it all. Everyone, you know what right, I mean. Everybody got you it. You can't take it all. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah, got it. It's yeah, not. Everybody it's, got it. It's so breathing it's like, now. Right. It's, it's air. Yeah. yeah exactly. Point, you know. Yeah. No, I ain't messing with that. But, <sighs> but I don't mind that. I was being on your round, your Mount Rushmore. Brainiac though was like. Yeah, yeah. I replace Brainiac for Doom. Yeah. Um. However, I like that. I like that Magneto is on your uh Rushmore. To me, Magneto is is. But but low key, the lowest of keys, you know, he damn near Malcolm X, and I'm gonna keep saying, I'm gonna say it till I die. Yeah, stop saying that. I uh, know I'm not. I almost no, went. I'm off, not. I almost went. Look, see, I don't want to do you like this because I love you. <laughs> I almost went off on somebody in the comments for saying that. Why? You're comp- okay. I understand the Professor X, Malcolm Doctor X, King, and yeah, Doctor yeah, King. Yeah. Uh, I get the initial comparison right i get okay. it but at the end of the day magneto has murdered his own and murdered others so saying he's malcolm x to me you're comparing our king to a murderer malcolm x is not killing his own he's not even killing anybody he used violence when violence is necessary what's needed? yeah what's needed but magneto has taken down cities <laughs> magneto has killed thousands and thousands of people if a mutant gets in his way he will kill him if a human is just a human and existing in his way, he will kill him. Malcolm X wasn't on a killing spree. I I I say <laughs> So look, so look, I know he's probably snapped on y'all in the car, but you know what? I'ma defend you. I'ma defend you like That's this. That's all I say. Because because the reason why the reason why we say Malcolm, the reason why we say Malcolm. I get it. Yes, I know you get it. But you know, we're not gonna just go literal into the whole like damn, like, hey, hey, Malcolm over here shooting my brother. But, but, but he was. Up. You see the Mag- iconic picture. He had the AR. That's because it was after him, though. Yeah, I know. But Malcolm, <laughs> Magneto actually is a villain. He is. So it's like Malcolm, Malcolm X is, is like Malcolm as a villain too, though. Aside looks at Malcolm as a villain. But, you know, mutants look at Magneto also as, as a, a villain. villain. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's not like it's not so much like um he is he he does want to protect mutants. He mm-hmm. does, but he's willing to kill mutants. To do that though, some black folk thought Malcolm X was a villain, but he wasn't willing. As, but he wasn't. He wasn't willing to, to kill his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He was not un- unless you know somebody attacked him. Exactly. The, the nation, violence when violence. The nation came in and yes. did, you know protected. He had and he guns. still didn't kill anybody. He did not. He did not. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. that's the only reason why I'd be like, man, yeah. Magneto is actually a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> 
his ideals I get are it, though. of, of mouth. I get it. His I ideals. Get it. His actions are just of a crazy motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what it is. He like he is a murderer. He's like hunting people down to murder them. <laughs> like it's <laughs> He, you understand like, why he did some of the things. You against me? Fuck out of here. But he does, he does like... Nail to the head. He does, yeah, like get... He, he will kill mutants, though, and has killed mutants. Yeah. So it's not so like, you know, I'm after the just the oppressor. Yeah. And violence from violence. That's all, that's all. I know I might yeah. be a little too extreme political on it, but it's like... Malcolm ain't no. I, I just be like, all right, man. ain't no killer, but don't push him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I'm scared. <laughs> You know what it is. I'm just, yeah, I mean, I get it. 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 But look, I'm going to defend y'all because I'm going I'm to I'm still, still say it. But yeah, he is low-key a murderer. I'm, <laughs> That's all fucking, I'm saying. He's a, he's a murderer. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my God. And then, of course, Joker. Joker has to be on there. He's just a psychotic Joker's, freak. Joker's Joker's number one spy yeah, in my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, on top of that, my order was not in any type yeah. of one, two, three, four. But uh, yeah, Joker is number one. Joker is, I mean, I don't even see anyone else on his type of maniacal, just wanting to see the world burn. Yeah. Like, I, in a sense, and this is, y- y- y'all might judge me for this. <laughs> in, in, in a sense, like, I can, I can, I can relate to, to Joker. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. And, and one point, out of here. At one point in my life, <laughs> okay, at one point okay, in my life, okay, I, okay. I could, I could have relate to the Joker. Um, it was, it was actually watching or actually reading the Killing Joke and then watching the Killing Joke too. But it's like you know, at the end of the day, it's like he wanted just to be seen, noticed, and understood. Yeah. But of course, you know, he, he's just. And maniacal, but at the same time, the attention that he wanted from Batman was just that. That's yeah. what he wanted was attention. A, yeah, and a laugh out of him at that. You know, so it's just like seeing that type of personality and the actions that not to say killing is any type of excuse. <laughs> so he's just killing just to just cause it's Thursday. But it's like, you know, lashing out at things because you want attention from someone. Or you want, you know, some type of camaraderie with someone yeah. because you think that they, you know, you think that you're the same with this other person, whatever the case may be. And that's why I, I felt Joker felt in the same, uh, the same light as Batman, you know, uh, real quick side note. Can you can we stop calling this nigga bitch Wayne? You know who I'm talking about, nigga. You know who I'm talking about. Stop calling him bitch Wayne. Yeah, Jesus Lord. Like, I love you, but stop with the bitch Wayne. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's why that, at one point I really could, because there was a time in my life where I was just like, you know, lashing out, doing some stupid shit because, you know, I wanted attention from someone. And, you know, seeing Joker in that light and having that ending kind of, you know, interpret it, you know, it's like, did, did he break his neck or whatever the case may be? Um, you know, that's that's why I, like, I see Joker in two different lights, which is maniacal and crazy, but, you know, y'all don't, y'all don't judge me for that, so. Yeah. <laughs> the Joker, that, I mean, the Joker is my favorite villain. Mm. They, he's part of the reason why I'm, I'm anti-Batman. Because I like Joker so much more. Joker is, villain-wise, he's goaded. You and, you and... Mr. Lion. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Here's the thing is though, is I don't dislike Batman. I yeah. dislike uh, his fans. It's, it's oh, the fandom. The delusional fandom. That's what I can't stand. It's not the character. Yeah. Like I think Batman and Gotham is like the dopest thing in fiction. But Thanks. but people can't just let him be exist where he is. Prep time. Yeah, it prep just time, gets, it just time, gets prep irritated. Time. That part. Prep of time. Him. Prep time. Prep time. And I never. I don't think Top I was line. ever annoyed with him until TikTok. Mm. TikTok maybe uh made him get on my nerves. Yeah, you 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 know what? I could see that because when I actually I I did a whole like rabbit hole with Batman and some of the fandom, I'm like, yo, some of the stuff y'all saying, y'all tripping. <laughs> it like, showed up, it was showing up with Spider-Man fans for a minute too. Duh, I just had to keep going at them. <laughs> like, hey man, Spidey Gang, Spidey Gang, you feel me? They, he, can, keep, he can beat Homelander anyway. <laughs> I had um, to keep going at him. <laughs> I seen, I seen oh, that. I was going at them. I was letting them oh have it. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. But yeah, so, so like, y'all, y'all make me have to talk bad about stuff I like. <laughs> 
some of the like I said, some of the bat fandom can be a little crazy, but <laughs> you know, for 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 me, you know, I'm I'm I am a big I'm a big Batman fan, you know. So you know that whole the whole bitch Wayne thing. I'm like, nigga, come on, like, come on, man. I'm not against it. Hey, on my boy Bruce, man. <laughs> hey, on the boy Brucey. But, uh, <laughs> who is the most iconic villain in fiction across the board? Across the ooh, mangas too. Just yeah, who's the most Ooh, iconic? Yes, it ain't nobody in no damn manga. I'm gonna tell you that before you even say something. Are, wait, time out, time out. It's, time it's out. definitely not nobody in anime. That's time the out. most iconic villain in fiction. Oh it's... no, most <laughs> it ain't been around fiction. long enough. House, house, wait, there, nigga, there's been animes that have been like seventies driven. That's well, not... I forgot fifties and whatever the fuck. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Um, <laughs> most iconic. In fiction, mm. damn. I would probably have to say, I'll probably have to say, like Doom is up there. Doom nope. is up there. Like God, God King Emperor Doom, that motherfucker is up there. In all of fiction, I would say between Doom and Joker, I. Right? I'm not. I'm not seeing anybody who's. Oh, now are we talking about just? Are we? Oh my God! Rest in peace to the rest goat. in peace to the goat. But I'm not putting him. I'm oh, not, you're I'm crazy. Not putting him hands as down the top number one spot. Darth Vader. Vader. Yes, that is the most famous villain in the world. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Rest <laughs> in peace to James Earl Jones. Star Wars, but, is... the, but the films that I did watch, I'm like, okay, yeah, Vader was a Vader was a fucking fool, but he ain't no the top. He's number one. I guarantee you everybody's going to tell you that, too, Look, when this video come out. Chat. I mean, I said chat. <laughs> Comments. I go, go go, comment. Whatever I the case. I guarantee you. I hope we get this in a clip. I guarantee you. I'm going Joker over Darth Vader. A yes. Joker is him. That's the, that's, the him. that's his rival. Yeah. Mm. That's his rival. Mm. Mm. It's right. I, I would say that that is, that's a fair assessment. But I, I think, I guarantee you, I find more people are going to say Darth Vader than well, Joker. But why, Darth? Because you're, you are more knowledgeable in, in, Darth in, Vader is in the, Star Wars. Star Wars than, is the, the biggest name. fiction. That is the biggest fiction. That yes, is the, the yeah. most thing. And it's just... But we're talking about from feet-wise, like like from diabolical bullshit versus diabolical bullshit. You feel me? I mean, Darth Vader is destroyed planets. You say, like, oh, he's definitely God, in that. Yeah, he has yeah. a Death Star. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I, think, it's, I think it's planetary. <laughs> Dar- yeah, I'm like, Darth Vader. Darth Vader, Darth like, Vader walked into a daycare center with kids and killed them all. <laughs> <laughs> so did Joker. He but came I'm in there about, laughing gas type shit. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you were saying it like, Darth Vader ain't a mill. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying he ain't no man. <laughs> he walked in. He walked into the Jedi daycare, and all the kids were happy to see him. This is before he fully turned. Yeah. And he just killed all of them. They were all, it was like. Wow. They were all like, oh, Anakin. And he just lit up his lightsaber and just killed all the kids. <laughs> this is before he was like in the, in the, in the mask, mask and stuff. Yeah. Like he, he was turning. I, yeah. I think he, he was just, already turning. In his first essence of, of being on the dark side. But yes. but um, nah, man. The breathing alone is more iconic than, <gasps> than anything. The laugh? Yeah. The what Joker is, laugh? I mean, there's not. <laughs> a, <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, <laughs> it's more iconic than that, bro. Ah, that's. I guess because I'm biased. Yeah, he ain't a Star Wars fan. I'm not. Probably. I am not. Like I, I am. I am a nerd to the day I die. But I am not a Star Wars fan. And I think it's only because, I think it's only because there was so much, and I just got sick and tired of coming back and forth to board, back to, oh, okay, we got to put this in order here. We got to put this order here. We got to put this order here. We got to go from episode one, two, three to um, help me out. It was uh, what was fourth? What was fourth? The fourth um, was the first one, brother. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. But I'm talking about title wise, title wise. Like, do you what was the, the name of it? The yeah. fourth one is called the New Hope. New Hope, New Hope, New Hope. Okay, mm-hmm. and that was basically the very first Star that Wars. That was the film. first, first Star Wars. Yeah, film. first yeah, Star yeah. Wars. Mm-hmm. So then having to do all that shit, and on top of that, I'm also not a big fan when it comes to not planetary shit, but when it comes to like extraterrestrial shit. Back in the day, yeah. Cause I'm like, this is cheesy as shit. I can't watch it. I cannot watch it. I can watch any type of anime from the '80s, '90s, low key, even like, like low key even the '70s. But the animation is just wah, top tier. But when I'm seeing live action shit, that's why I actually try to watch Doom, the the, the OG Doom. Yeah. But that was yeah. It's hard to watch that kind of stuff now. But I ain't gonna lie, the OG Doom. 
that was great. But I mean, some of them are good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Star Wars don't look bad to me, but it's that's also because they also retouched it up. Mm-hmm. But I also had seen it before, so when you you know what to expect, it doesn't bother you. Versus if you're watching it for the first time in 2024, it's yeah. gonna be harder to watch. That, that's just, but that's just old films in general. There's movies in the early oh, 2000s God, that I'll look turn on and be like. I can't believe I thought this looked like cool as shit. Yeah, be like, <laughs> like dang, like oh my god, like it's like watching, like uh-huh. even watching like the Matrix now, it's still tight, but that was like mind revolutionary, mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. and mind now when blowing. I watch it, it's just like ah oh, man, I thought that this looked like oh wait wait a minute, I don't know, still feel about that. Like I still feel like it was for that. It time, was at that time. Watching that it now, it's a, it just doesn't ha- it doesn't hit the same. Really. That I ain't gonna lie, the whole early two thousands don't really hit the same because that was the beginning of computer. That was the beginning yeah, of CGI. Yeah, CGI. Yeah. And CGI just it like almost turned into like putty looking people. Yeah. So okay. it was. It's funny that the nineties kind of looked better because they just made it mechanical. Right. Like like Jurassic Park still looks really good because those robot uh the the. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are robots. Yeah. So they just, it wasn't fake looking, but we had to go through that learning curve of getting the, the CGI better. And so when you go back, it's just, it's not bad. Those dinos still look great. Though. No, in, that's in, not, in, it in, looks in amazing OG. still. Yeah, in OG. Like, yeah, it's you know, just because they're robots though. That freaked me out though. Yeah, no, that, was, that looked was real. Young, that freaked me yeah. out. I was like, yo, what the? Like, yeah, it was like late it? 90s, early 2000s was like the transition. Yeah. And they just had to get better. Yeah. Cause like some stuff, it just like it just turns into a video game for a second, like a PlayStation Two game. Oh my god, <laughs> bro! And I'll be like, "What am I watching?" <laughs> it's not bad. I can do it. Yeah, but yeah. I it's, it was like the '90s, and then now more modern. It, it was like a it was a gap. Speaking of just like gaming, like shit, period. Because like you know, everybody knows you know the, the the new Dragon Ball is coming out. You know, just to kind of switch to some anime real quick, and like they're literally they're literally showing. This new series called Dragon Ball Dama, and it's li- it's literally like watching a video game. Yeah. That, and that's like one of my pet peeves when it comes to Dragon Ball. Now, like they they had the superheroes movie looking like a video game, but at the same time, it was straight. But this whole series is coming out just like I said, just to piggyback on you know looking like a PS2 type vibe. I just don't like watching series that have gaming like gaming aspects yeah it's like yo why are we doing i'm not i'm not looking at a cut scene through the entire fucking show i just don't like this shit if y'all if y'all agree with me let me know but i'm just not a fan of this whole dragon ball dama coming out i'm not a fan of this new what i call lazy illustration or yeah. you know lazy animation where it's like y'all just literally making a cut scene from a fucking video game and i'm like okay you know what i'm just about done with it because there's some other Animes like that too. Um, it's this. It's this martial art anime, um, and for the life of me, I can't Baki. think of it right now. No, not Baki. I freaking love Baki. Baki's animation is actually pretty dope. It's called. Uh, and y'all know what I'm talking about too. It starts with a K. Help me out. Dog me out. I don't care. But y'all know what I'm talking about. It starts with a K, and it has that same that same CGI movement, yeah. and it's just like, <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Who's the most like iconic it. villain in anime? Woo! About time. They can answer that. About time. Um, most iconic villain in anime, for me personally, because we all grew up on the shit, and actually it's a tie for me, and it comes in the Dragon Ball universe. I don't care you Naruto fans. I don't <laughs> care you One Piece fans. Um, top Tying for top two is Boo. And I mean Super Boo. I ain't talking about. Well, I take it back. Kid Boo. Kid Boo was on just is just on some ignorant shit. I mean, he literally went to he went to hell to kill people yeah. and came back on some bullshit. And then I would say, I would probably say, oh damn. No, I would I would go Frieza too, cause free. I mean Frieza Frieza was on that type of time. Where, like, I mean, he was just killing motherfuckers for no reason. Killed an entire planetary race just because, like, y'all call them monkeys. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I take offense to that. <laughs> but um, literally just just for the just for the simple fact of, hey, I can do it. Like, you know, yeah. I don't need y'all niggas no more. So, you know, his little death beam. I think it's, um, 
I think it's hands down Frieza. Like, Boo is nice. I think Boo is a good second. But I feel like it's Frieza is number one. I feel like the whole monkey's line, the, his yeah. voice, <laughs> all of that. I think it's like, it's, I feel like it's Frieza and it's, that's just who it is. You know, from every other anime that, I, that that I've watched, I feel like they've all taken aspects from Frieza. Yeah. Um, you know, Cell's an honorable mention. but I, mean, I love Cell is my favorite. Cell villain. is just a G. He's yeah, just Cell, like Cell is tight. a cold-blooded killer. Yeah. It's just we didn't get enough yeah. of him. But, you know, because, I mean, yeah, he got beat by a teenager. But yeah. uh, It was like Cell just, he showed up with his story and then we got straight into it. Versus yeah. Frieza... There was still it the Raditz, the, the Saiyan villainy arcs and yeah. all of that while Frieza existed. Yeah. It wasn't straight into Frieza. Yeah, they you were like I mean? on some they were like on some Thanos type time. Yeah, exactly. Like, it was it a really build, build up, up to, to the Frieza. big bad. Build up to the big bad. Yeah, that, that was I like that that one too. Facts. But now, um every other every other anime that I've watched as far as the iconic villain situation, like I feel like they just all taken they've taken aspects from Frieza. Anyway. We already answered. Oh, no, we uh, didn't answer this, though. This is up? what I want to ask you. What up? Who are the five strongest characters in Marvel, punching-wise? Punching-wise? Mm -hmm. Like physical also, strength. Okay, so uh, street-level type shit? Oh. Five strongest punchers in Marvel. Five Who are the five punches. strongest punchers in Marvel? Hulk. Hmm? That's one. Um, strongest punches. Hulk. I'm going with Thor. I'm going with. Oh, it's just a machine. Century. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going with. Can we can we put variables in like a bloodlusted nah. someone? No. Nah. Okay. Okay. Nah. Uh, I'm going with who I said who, who I said, I said Hulk, Thor, Hulk, Hulk, and Century. Century. You doing good. You doing good. I would say Black Panther. I'm just throwing them in there. I'm just throwing them in there because that's the homie. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's the homie. That's the homie. That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go with Black Panther. Okay. And then fifth, strongest punches in Marvel. Mm. There's somebody who I'm missing. There, there, there definitely is. And then, mm, I would say there's a woman. There's a woman. I'm gonna tell you this: Captain Marvel can definitely punch harder than that's what I was thinking. Black Panther, but that's not even that's what, what I was, was thinking. Say. That's what I was thinking. Um, damn, nah, I'm actually going. I'm actually going Captain Marvel. All right, all right. I'm actually going Captain Marvel. All right. If I was to take Black Panther out, I mean, Rogue could actually punch harder than him. There's a lot of people. Um, I would yeah. say just punch harder yeah. than Black Panther. Yeah. Uh, you forgot Blue Marvel. That's what the I was dude thinking. who knocked out Century. Facts. <laughs> God damn. Take out Black for, 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 for Blue Marvel. I would you still know, stand on Black Marvel. Know, Black Marvel on Black Panther. You know who else too is? It's it's it depends though. But he can be as a uh, gladiator. Gladiator. Oh. Gladiator man. He, he he can punch man. It's not a hands down. I thought I thought, I thought, I thought Hercules could, could, could punch harder than Gladiator. Hey, possibly. See, Gladiator, Gladiator's power is his confidence, though. So mm. if he's fully confident, he's he's he, if he believes he can out punch you, he uh, will. So he's a saying. It's crazy. In a sense, yeah, he got that, that like, but like. So all I gotta do is make him insecure. That's crazy. That's yeah, exactly. Insecure. You can take his confidence away, though. His confidence has been taken away well, before. Well. But like Hyperion one time was beating him up and ripped his hair out and pissed him off and glad he started beating his ass. <laughs> 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 like so Bro, what? Yeah, if he uh if he believes he can out punch you, he does automatically. That's actually mm. his power. Mm. It's kind of weird. So uh, just man. so just the belief in the stars. Yeah. You know. And then there are characters that we don't really consider punching characters, but they can. They're like, you know, like Silver Surfer and, and Ghost Rider, but you don't really perceive I, them yeah, as I don't, they're more power in that. Yeah, I'm talking like, about just they're their fit, punching they're, they're ability, physical manifestation of power. Yeah, like I, that's why I don't really. Yeah, know, I don't I really put them. In, I wasn't them. really thinking them either, but because yeah, just I mean that's just like really punching. Not even mass. I think yeah. I mean, you're not getting punched by mass. You're yeah. getting punched by an entity of 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 physical, not physical of. 
freaking just it's like deity or shit. Yeah, yeah. It's more into it. It's more power. Yeah, involved. yeah, yeah. More like a deity. Not just strength. Situation. It's also power, which is right. different. Right, 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 right. I definitely, I definitely can agree on that. Really? So then, so then who your side five? That's what I was saying. Okay, okay. So, so what? Just uh, what Hercules Hyperion? I, I, Hercules is debatably in there. You know, it's like you forget about Hercules, or you don't just classify him as a Marvel character as much. Like it's just kind of Hercules, but. Hercules is now, I yeah, mean, yeah, he is yeah, the guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if I my my picks is you now too. Yeah. Blue Marvel, Sentry, Hulk, Thor. I'll say Hercules. I was gonna say Gladiator. I'll say Hercules. Yeah, I'm about to say because I mean the the feats that I've seen or just read. Hercules you know, debatably the strongest. Yeah, dog. Depending on it, you, you know, know I mean? it just depends on the day. Yeah, it's Hercules. Yeah. Exactly. You what know, we'll say about son that. of Zeus. <laughs> but you know, I, I, I just see, I just see their two feats. Like you said, Gladiator is just built on belief, and built on you know. If I mean, he's I already I naturally strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, like, to get that edge, and if he just gets that one little sense of doubt, I mean, yeah, exactly. No, for sure. <laughs> As I was saying, walking around, Hercules is stronger just walking around. Yeah. Yeah. Actual. That was the last question I had, brother. I fuck with it, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to be back, y'all. Glad, glad to, to be, be back. back. Yeah. I'm Brent Trey Sands, the writer and the creator of the Impound Universe. This is my co-host, Kyron Shank. Yeah, one time for the one time, y'all. Thank you for watching another video by Impound Comics. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.